My name is David Antonio Cruz. I live and work in New York City. I grew up originally in Philadelphia and moved to New York about 20 years ago. My family is from Puerto Rico originally and they moved and I was born in the U.S. I normally begin by uh, researching um, history, um, historical figures. Um, I look at literature and I start bringing all those elements together and um, I'll start um, bothering friends about being part of the work. So normally they're usually artists or um, creative folks. So I usually pick folks that I'm attracted to. There's something about their being there. They exude this energy that's part of what I think of my work. And, you know, I bring them into the work. I usually dress them up into my costumes or lay their costumes on top of their bodies. So they're almost being hidden or become part of the actual uh, f um, fabric. And they're photographed and eventually I start creating collage, drawing base piece that um, starts to, I start putting all my ideas down on paper and that's basically how I begin. I'm interested in seduction. You know, uh, one thing is through candy and I find people, there's, when you mention the word chocolate, um, immediately uh, your brain gets this one thing, just consuming the smell of it. It's the, the, the performative aspect of the work. Um, it's a constant uh, negotiation, I say. I negotiate with paint because uh, um, I'll pour it on and I'll tilt the, the panels and, um, and try to get the effects that I want, but it generally does its own thing. So it'll cover things, fragments, um, and it's almost owning the painting. It, it becomes, it, it takes full control of my process and it does its own thing. So at times it, it's frustrating and at times it's quite beautiful, the elements that have been left behind, the fragments, and those are the things that are left behind for the viewer to see. Um, and that's part of the work, but part of the work, um, the, the actual meaning of chocolate for me is uh, dealing with brownness, skin, um, the politics of brownness, being brown um, in this country. Being able to be almost anything, it's more interesting to me, you know. Um, and I feel that a lot of the, the people in my work sometimes look like they could be female, males. They, they switch back and forth. I, um, for example, the large painting of uh, um, McGregor, she is an amazing director, theater director, and um, and the work, when you see her, and she is, she exists, she's constantly, her sexuality shifts back and forth depending on the angle, depending on what you're looking at. I found that interesting. To me, that's powerful when you're able to go from one thing to the next. And, and just, it is so natural and, and fluid to be able to just move back and forth and, you know, and transform, just change and become this other thing, this being that. So not being able to carry labels, you're everything, you know, it's, it's powerful.